um, continued on, it gave a sort of grab bag of, of uh, issues that, that come into play in, um, w w in any logic. Performance in any logic is pretty important for, for two reasons. Models are slow to run because there's many moving parts. There's lots of things to be simulated, lots of work to do in simulating a given realization of a model. And often there's need to run multiple realizations. And for both those reasons, it's expensive, right? Um, and, um, and I argued that it, it had a material bearing on the, the modeling process. And um, while uh, things like uh, large-scale parallel computation, large-scale concurrency, farming out computations or models, realizations across farms on the cloud, et cetera, is a distinct possibility, end-to-end, um, -end, from starting a model to finishing it, these models are still likely going to have a pretty big computational footprint, pretty big amount of time to run compared to, say, a classic system dynamics model, which we can run interactively with sliders, getting immediate feedback from it. <coughs> so I talked about a variety of issues that could adversely affect performance. And uh, I won't go through um, all in detail here again, but I want to remind you of them. Um, so events, really expensive, and we actually looked at how one model sort of, uh, at least at, at a at an uh, obvious level, it was slowing down as more events were generated, say messages being sent related to infection. Statistics, computation of statistics over a population. If you have 17 age categories and you're calculating each of them in turn, you're doing a lot of wasted effort because you're sweeping the population 17 different times with built-in statistics mechanisms. Visualization can take a lot of time, building of networks and output of data. So I, I talked about all these issues, gave some recommendations for them. Um, what I didn't do last time was to show a tool, and this was uh, in part uh, because we ran out of time, Plum ran out of time at the end. I want to start today's session with uh, a glimpse of use of a tool called a profiler, which can be used to study and analyze the performance of your model. Okay. This is not a tool that comes built in in any logic, but it's a tool that's supported by the framework on which any logic is built, which is a framework that's known as, as Eclipse, the Eclipse framework. Okay. Um, so if you were to go look it up, uh, what you'd find is that Eclipse is, a, uh, is an extremely popular, um, the most popular, I believe, development uh, environment um, for, for Java and I think uh, perhaps extant in the world today. It is an open source framework. It is distinguished by several features, including uh, the, the fact that it allows for pluggable extensions. By pluggable, I mean they're modular so you can add them in and, um, and Eclipse as a whole will then support that extra feature. So there's a, reflecting this, there's a big marketplace of third-party extensions to Eclipse that do all sorts of amazing things. Um, and uh, Eclipse is moreover a, a sort of plug-in architecture that, that supports adaptation to various <coughs> environments. And it turns out that any logic is built using the Eclipse framework. So any logic is basically takes some of the best features of Eclipse, including the ability to auto-complete and so on, in any logic, um, uh, takes those features and it packages it up in a, in a way that can be used for agent-based modeling. And there's, there's other adaptations of Eclipse for different uh, uses. Um, so any logic inherits almost all the features, um, uh, sort of all the architectural features of now, what that means is that these two have a close relationship in the sense that uh, there's many other tools provided for Eclipse that can be leveraged to use any logic or to interface with any logic models, okay? Um, and uh, we're going to see one of those today. And specifically, it's going to be called TPTP. Um, and... Uh, this is a uh, uh, profiler for tuning performance. Uh, 
that is a plug-in to Eclipse. Okay? And what's going to happen here is we're going to show how using Eclipse as a platform where we install this plugin, and installing plugins in Eclipse is, is extremely straightforward. It's kind of like uh, adding packages to R for, no, for those who have used R before. Um, once you've installed it to Eclipse, um, you can then um, conduct what are called profiling sessions um, within Eclipse. And uh, profiling is a technique used for understanding computational resource use by programs more generally. Okay? And uh, one of the types of programs to which we can apply it is, is uh, simulation models in Java. And basically what it will give us is an understanding of where uh, these simulation models are spending their time. Okay? So it turns out profiling is broader than that. Uh, we'll today look at how it can be used to showing time. It turns out profiling can be used to look at memory use as well. Like why is my model taking so much memory? Why is it hogging up so much memory? Is it because of uh, visualization related issues? Is it because of uh, this information I'm storing within each agent. What's going on here? So profiling gives you a sense of the footprint, as it were, of your, um, of your program or your model in this case. And so we're going to use Eclipse to do profiling on any logic model. Okay? And it's going to be a, a multi-step procedure. And I'm going to walk you through it. I'm, I'm actually accumulating some slides in this, and I don't have them complete for this class. I will share them with you separately. Um, the one thing that, that I will warn about is uh, I need to modify those slides because um, I noticed the latest version of any logic doesn't play by quite the same rules as the earlier version that I'll be showing. So um, those are going to need to be modified. So take this as uh, suggestive right now. And, and hopefully within another week or so, I'll get you sort of a version that, or more likely a week and a half, that, that can work with the newest version of any logic with all the slides showing step by step by step how you do this. But you'll see basically some of the things you can do right now, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do now is call up Eclipse um, with that background uh, stated. So I don't think I have it running here. Um, so uh, here we go. So I should note that um, what you'll be seeing here today is, um, is not a capability that I'm aware any other AnyLogic users have tapped into. And, and yet, performance limitations are a major issue with AnyLogic. So I've been consulted by some other AnyLogic users a bit desperate to know why is my program, why is my model running so slow? They had spent days or I think weeks actually, just trying to get this to run faster. And literally within 15 minutes, I was able to narrow down the problem using the profiler. So these are powerful tools. They're not widely known. Okay, so I've just called up Eclipse here. Um, this is the, the Galileo version. Um, there's, there's several out there. Now I use Eclipse for a lot of things. And so you'll see various cropped around my screen related to other projects in which I've worked. But, um, what I'm going to do is sort of restore this, as it were, to the, uh, to the original state that you would see uh, if you were to start, um, uh, if you were to start normally within Eclipse, um, and that is uh, Java browsing, okay? Um, Java browsing, or you might be seeing uh, just Java development. So when you install uh, Eclipse, you might see something more along these lines. <coughs> so up here in the upper right, you'll see what are called perspectives. Okay. These perspectives basically um, relate to the face that Eclipse is putting on, the user interface, the set of features that it exposes visually, um, the arrangement of windows, and so on. And those, that face, as it were, will be different for different tasks. So there's uh, the default one, I think, is, is Java, um, if you're building uh, Java programs. But what you'll see is that there's a variety of tasks that that it supports. Uh, one of the most common ones is debugging. And in fact, maybe in the next session, we'll see how you can do the same thing with Eclipse to support debugging in any logic. Okay? Um, how do you go in and, and, and systematically track down a bug in any logic using Eclipse? 
But there's many other sorts of things. Java browsing is a common one. You can use uh, SQL um, Explorer to, to issue queries against databases, Explore XML uh, as an encoding format, etc. Um, they even have some things having to do with scheduling, I think, with the planning and, and um, uh, connecting to what are called CVS repositories, code versioning systems. Okay? So I'm going in and uh, in this open perspective, and I'm going to go over and go to profiling and logging. Okay? Now profiling and logging will have a different set of windows associated with it and a different set of tools. And one of them you'll see up here, it says profile, okay? In the upper part of the screen. And you'll see there's some profiling reports and then some execution statistics it can give. So we're gonna, this is gonna be sort of our home, as it were, when we're conducting profiling of a model. In other words, when we're trying to figure out um, what's taking its time and what's allocated memory, although we're not gonna be showing, showing that. Okay, so um, having done that um, and introduced uh, Eclipse a little bit here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to, find, um, because I haven't, haven't gone through and gotten this work with the newest version of any logic. I'm using 6.2.2 here. Um, again, I'm, I'm hoping to adapt this. Now, I have an example model that I provided. Uh, I believe it's part of the example models provided that's called Eclipse Debugging Example. And we'll be using that to show profiling and using that to show debugging, both with Eclipse. Okay? Um, so it turns out that this is a close cousin of the... Um, of the uh, model, agent-based model with birth, death, that, um, that we've seen at various points. notable because it supports a dynamic population. Whoa, okay, that's, that's an unhappy version of it. Um, uh, but it supports uh, open populations and simulation over time uh, and uh, uh, changes of, of network structure accordingly. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, take a look at a couple features needed to work with uh, profiling. The first thing is, um, you'll notice that um, in this uh, Eclipse uh, debugging example that um, I have a couple different um, sessions uh, associated with experiments. And if we go to the profiling session, um, as well incidentally as the debugging one, you'll notice there's something specified here in advanced. So we have the normal tab for the experiment we've seen many times where we specify the the parameters and so on. But under advanced, there's something that says Java machine arguments, okay? That's just below that Java memory available that I think we talked about last time. So this machine arguments, this is basically something to tell it, hey look, when you run this model, I want you to do something different. And particularly, I want you to make yourself available for um, collecting other sorts of information and I want you to um, be able to support connections by an external profiler, okay? So I'm going to give you the path to do this. It's, it's a long sort of string um, that you have to put in here. And basically you have to point it to a, um, a sort of a profiler-related um, uh, profiler related sort of um, uh, engine that, that will support collecting profilers, this Java profiler related agent. Okay, So there's a Java machine argument there that's a little bit of technical goop. Um, so having done that, we have to go, this is now, I call it a profiling simulation because it, it has this special feature. Otherwise it's not particularly distinguished in any way. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to run this profiling sim simulation. Okay, and um, this will get to the point where we're ready to run a simulation. Okay? We will then switch back to Eclipse and connect to this simulation. Okay? So we'll switch back to Eclipse, connect to this thing, and then we'll come back here and get it to go. And it will start recording at that point that it's sort of just when we, when we, when we told it to connect. And once we set it going, that's when things action will really, really be happening. So here we are. Um, I'm going to go, having set this up, this special experiment that's enabled to be able to talk with TPTP with Eclipse, I'm going back to Eclipse. So in any logic, I had been in Eclipse, I went to any logic, just set this up, ready to run. Coming back to Eclipse, 
And now I am going to go up to this profiling tool here and do profile configurations, okay? This will let me tell what image it's running on my system. Which one do I actually want to connect to? And I go over to this thing called agents and you'll notice that there's a thing that says Java profiling and I allow it to do execution time uh, analysis. And I'm going to say apply. Okay, I want to apply this uh, Java profiling. And then I'm going to say, okay, go and profile now. You'll notice there's some additional information which I'm not really commenting on on sort of what to connect to, etc. So now, when I do profile here, you notice it says it's launching new configuration, it's connecting. And you'll notice down here it says process so many bytes. Okay, that means it's communicating with this guy. And um, it's actually collecting information. So I better start this guy up. Okay, so now this is, is uh, starting running and it's, it's sort of doing the normal uh, setup activities and so on. And meanwhile, it's collecting information. You can see it's actually quite a lot of information back here um, that's, that's collecting information on sort of what's going on behind the scenes and so on. So um, I could let this, in general, it will be running a lot slower now because it's collecting all this sort of information. But it's collecting information as it's setting up the network, getting everything ready, et cetera. And um, we could let this run here. Um, and what we would uh, eventually see is sort of the, uh, the screen up here. You notice it's still allocating some memory here to get it ready to, uh, to run. Okay, having, having done this, um, what I'm going to do now is to go and, and so um, I will stop this from running because I don't want to wait for it for too long. And back here, um, uh, what we're going to see is that right here I've recorded a profiling, um, a profiling session that was terminated at 137 and um, there's an execution analysis, um, execution time analysis. So if I cl double click on that, it will then sort of uh, summarize for me what it found through this session. I'm going to drag some windows around so that we have a little bit more space here. And um, uh, there we go. OK, so what it found was in terms of sort of where it was spending time, um, there were a variety of, of things that were taking up some, models, uh, some, some time. Now, you'll notice that there's many things listed here as taking up time. One of them is this ABM model with birth death, which you'll recognize. That was the model I was just using. And if you go in, you'll find, okay, for example, person in the person class, um, the calls to random ethnicity, random sex, and random age, which are used when first setting up the model, were taking a little bit of time. Um, so you'll notice overall, uh, in terms of the time taken, it recorded, um, well, you can total these out 55 plus 17 plus 2, and then there's some uh, little bits uh, little bits down there. So I, I record it for somewhere like a minute and a half. Um, most of the time was taken up here by the engine. The actual time spent in the model itself, the, co the code that really I wrote or that's most closely associated, it's actually very small. Of that, you know, 0.04 seconds was spent on this method or that method and that method. In other words, we called this maybe many times, but it was a very quick method, and so it, it didn't really take much time. What really took a lot of time was, was this, the engine. Note the presentable. We really hadn't started doing much presentation. So there was not too much time associated with the presentable. But what really took time is this thing called agent, for example. And here's some computations involved in agent that were taking time. Calculating distance to. Calculating get x and get y, get connections, number, et cetera. Now, where would these be used? I'll tell you, I didn't write any code that used distance to. But where do you think that might be used? Bearing in mind that I actually stopped the model before it got significantly into any sort of active simulation. It was doing, spending most of its time in setting up the initial thing. What would distance to be used for? Yeah, it's constructing the network because this is a distance-based network. It needs to assess the distance between two individuals, figure out if they're connected. And it needs to do that basically with 
you know, half of all pairs of individual, all possible pairs of individuals considering symmetry. Um, and so it actually was spending quite a bit of time just doing that. Um, get x and get y took a little bit of time, for example, as well. Get connections number was was more modest. Um, so, you know, this is a bit of understanding of why was it taking running there, and it, it was taking quite a while actually. It's it's associated with um, with uh, you know this this information this work, and similarly, um, uh, I could look down here at some other components as well. Now, um, I'm going to delete uh, delete this because I don't uh, think we have to keep it around. Um, I might like to see if we could actually for a longer period in the background and then come back to it. I don't want to keep you folks waiting for it, but if we were to again run this and okay, I want to delete this, yes. Um, so delete contents and file system. Uh, no, I don't want to delete those. Okay, fine. Um, so it will clean up here and then I'm going to start a new profiling system. Profile configurations. And once again, I've got to go over here and just sort of go through this little ritual, do apply, and then I want to profile it to actually start the profiling. The profiling is, is going to be started right now. Um, and so I'm going to get over and get this guy going and, uh, and let it run. Now, um, I'm, not, I'm not testing it, but I believe that I could have actually started this starting it running and then connect it later. Um, it actually would have connected in the middle of the computation. Um, uh, I'm not verifying that it's going on later in the execution of a model. So uh, I'm going to let this um, let this go and see if I can answer any questions about this. So I've shown sort of how these two work together, how you can use Eclipse via TPTP framework to collect information on any log. Any Maybe I'll show one other thing in Eclipse just while this is running because it might be the sort of thing you want to know. So if you go up to help um, and you go to, I believe it's under about Eclipse here, um, you can regarding sort of what's, what's in this uh, version of Eclipse. And if I'm not mistaken, under installation details, I may be off on this, but I think in under installation details, yes, here we go. Um, this is a list of all the things that I've installed, for example. Um, so th the various plugins um, and installation history. Um, and I thought it was in here, it may be in uh, a separate menu item that I can go and install new uh, plugins. Um, so let's see, uh, installed software, let's go. Go see here. Uh, I could certainly uninstall things here. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look like uh, it's directly from here. Um, so it may be that I have to do it through a different menu there. Okay. Uh, it's through one of the menu items in this help page that you're, you'll go and install a new TPTP. Um, uh, there it is, install new software. And uh, there's a couple of repositories for Eclipse that you can go select. And um, I'm not connected to the network, so it's not finding the appropriate site. But basically, you can go select sites and, and browse what's available. OK, so while I've been talking here, um, uh, this thing is going in the background. Um, and um, OK, it's still starting up. OK, um, so any questions about this? So profiling is a useful tool. What you'll find generally when you go to explore the statistics is there are certain things you recognize, there are certain things you don't recognize. And um, you have to kind of uh, engage in some guesswork as to exactly what different things are. But generally, you'll notice some things are presentable. So those have to do with more of the presentation and the time taken for that. Some things are more in, associated with your model, and that's more core code that's involved in and putting together the model. And finally, there's some things which are more about the engine, which is in support of your code. Okay, okay I'm going to let this uh, run in the background until this guy is actually um, uh, simulated. Or maybe even to cut the process short here, I will uh, begin, um, 
start it once it's actually running. So I'm, I've just terminated it. It's going to be statistics there. Um, what I'm going to do now is, and we'll actually get it running so that it's, it's actually communicating um, infection, etc. And then we'll to intercept it partway through. Okay, so here we go. And so we're going to go over to any logic and we're going to go, excuse me, to Eclipse. We're going to do profile configurations. And we got thing here. Here's our agents. We got to select this. You do apply. And then we're going to do profile. We're going to connect to the actual running, um, running system here. Okay. So this is where it's trying to connect to it. And the question is, is it actually going to connect in the middle of all those operations? And um, I'm not actually certain of that. So we'll see. It looks like it may be having some, some difficulties with it. Guy is uh, from here, right? Okay, yeah, it's uh, so what we may do is pause. Let's try that. Okay, ah, there we go, and now we can start. So you notice it, it sort of synced up, so now it's actually collecting information regarding um, the operation here. Um, time is is uh marching forward. So here we'd expect a rather different sort of um, snapshot of, of what's going on because we would uh, we'd expect it to capture things not involved in setup of the network for example but instead of the overall operation of the model while it's while it's executing. So yeah, it's going very slow. This hasn't even uh, advanced materially. Okay, so uh, it is it is going along. So I'm going to go back and and stop this here for for during the model operation. Okay, so this says uh, uh, this is the one. I guess it started at 149. Okay, I'm going to open up the execution stats for this. Okay, so here we get a very very different picture than we did earlier. So earlier uh, it was dominated by engine and only then by presentable and then uh, ABM model with birth death. ABM model with birth death is still a rather minor component and there's some things like current age and circle size um, that are uh, sig have significant footprint um, uh, for main also some, some calls to get shape, etc. But the thing that's taking the most is actually the presentation. And, and that hinges with my comments last time that visualization takes a lot of effort uh, on the part of the computer. And uh, there's some things with updating the status bar um, with the panel, et cetera. And then associated with the engine, uh, let's go see what calls are, are major uh, things. Is shape visible, get rotation. Okay, so there's various sort of bookkeeping calls that it's, uh, that it's doing there and some things with sort of drawing out particular shapes, et cetera. Um, so, so now let's go see, just to sort of see this, if we were to go within our model here and we were to go to main, um, excuse, uh, excuse me, I'm thinking maybe I should put it in each person. Well, I'll put it in main. So let me go add an event in main here. Um, so uh, I'm going to click here. I'm going to say, you know, frequent event or something like that, right? So we're going to make an event that goes off um, uh, cyclically, and it goes off um, uh, with recurrence time point um, zero zero one. So that's going to be a sort of a rate limiting event, as it were, and uh, it's therefore going to burn up uh, burn up some time. Uh, so I'm going to add basically a performance hog to this uh, to this model, and I'm then going to run this model. Um, so uh, with this in place, we should see a somewhat different uh, footprint associated with the model. this event. Should at least have have some impact on things. Okay, so so here we are um, running the simulation, and uh, I'm going to go connect here in the same way. Okay, same thing, apply, 
and then I'm going to have to go before I start the profile. Oops. Um, I'm going to have to Okay. Boom. And then we're going to go, uh, excuse me, parallel itself. It'll go connect down here. Okay. So it's connected. Now uh, resume the simulation. Okay. So now it's uh, connecting much larger amounts of data in the simulation. So I'm going to let that go for a minute or so here. So it turns out that uh, what's going on beneath the, the surface here is that um, any logic is connecting through to uh, what's called the JVM, which is the uh, uh, a Java virtual machine. This is virtual, uh, virtual, and this is machine. And uh, that's something that runs the code in any logic. Okay, TPTP modifies this JVM. Uh, or uses an alternative JVM that supports collecting information. This is germane for two reasons. Uh, one, the debugger is going to work in the same sort of way. So Eclipse, we're going to have a debugger, and uh, it's going to also sort of be interactive with the JVM. The, the third thing is that if, if there's time, I'm going to talk about an approach known as aspects. Uh, it's also going to work with the JVM that you can use to kind of spy on what's going on uh, within the internals of any logic of, of an any logic model. Okay, so this thing has been running. Um, I'm going to go now uh, stop it here uh, and uh, see if there's a line of, of uh, that that call. Okay, so here we go. And then I'm going to open this this up here. Okay. Um, and now actually uh, we do see that uh, it has a little bit more of a um, um, of a of a sort of a, a higher higher use of than the other one. Um, there was a um, the, the previous one we had uh, it was a bit lower. Now in terms of um, where the event is occurring, um, I would expect it to be listed under um, under the um, under main here, but I don't see that as as um, as listed there, and I'm I'm wondering um, if it's if it's actually uh, uh, sort of uh, classified in one of these other components or what have you. Uh, it did, however, uh, bump bump up the um, the uh, ABM model birth death a little bit higher in terms of its um, of its uh, footprint in terms of the performance here. Um, I know from tracking down previous events that it can be pretty obvious um, as to where it's taking its time in terms of an event. That one may not have been so frequent that it was uh, uh, slowing it down in a major, major way. But um, we should see it here somewhere. I'll have to figure out where it is, and I'll, I'll see if I can indicate it in the slides that I put together for this. So anyway, um, what we've just seen is sort of added an event. It changed the print a little bit. Although uh, not as much as I would have uh, would have liked, and uh, generally speaking, you can use this to sort of figure out where uh, what's taking the time. Is it the presentation? Is it uh, some particular call within your event, such as to construct a network? Is it a database interface, or is it some other component of the model that's uh, that's taking taking uh, the time? So it's a useful additional tool, and I'll see if I can add some information in slide form that will give a little example on, on sort of tracking down different sorts of information, events, and, and log function calls. So that's TPTP, or profiling, used with Eclipse to connect to any logic, taking advantage of the fact that any logic in Eclipse are kind of joined at the head. Okay. Um, Okay, so any questions on that before I go on to another topic? That was kind of the, the wrap-up related discussions. Um, I mean, 